Hey, what's up, guys? So this is going to be an um, unboxing video um, about something that I ordered online. Um, it took me a long time, actually. It took me more than maybe two months. And um, the parts is mainly for my Honda S2000. So uh, for those of you that who doesn't know, um, I ordered, I ordered a... Um, front bumper uh, lip diffuser and then also a rear diffuser also um, the brand that it's made out of is from uh, top one um, I'm not sure if they still make makes it or whatever but I found I ordered directly from the web website and it took more than two months uh, I had to email the the person back and forth but the seller was pretty nice enough and then to gave me information about it so I don't think they have the stuff, the stuff in stock. But if you wore it, they probably have to make it or something like that. So anyway, I'm going to unbox and so um, show you guys what it looks like. So as you can see, the box came in pretty big. It's, uh, yeah, it's a pretty big piece. I'll try to. I don't know if I could get this whole angle in. Bring it back up. There we go. Okay guys, so it's kind of, it might be kind of hard to see, but this is actually the, the rear diffuser for Honda S2000 made by um, Top One. Um, I think the website posts as 450 bucks, but the seller, the guy was pretty nice enough uh, to give me some discount. Uh, I think he gave me 20% discount. So it came out to be 360 bucks with free shipping. So it was pretty awesome. Um, just by the the physical inspection, um, the guys wrap it pretty nicely. Um, everything has a what you call it, the bubble wrap on it. And um, let's see, I think it also came with the kit. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see this part right here. It also came with the the screws and all the bolts and stuff. Um, it doesn't come with the instruction or anything like that, but I. I think it's pretty straightforward. I mean, for those of you that who work on automotive and you know do your own stuff on your car, you probably know how to install this. So it should be pretty straightforward. Um, I actually emailed the guy and he told me that it's pretty straight, kind of straight up, like bolt on. Um, you do have to make uh, 
two small um, insertion or like a screws onto your um, you have to drill onto your bumper the rear bumper just two of them but most uh, most all the other stuff is straight up bolt on so this is probably something that I'll be working on um, uh, in a few weeks or so so I'll show you guys and the second thing that I ordered is Okay, so I got this, um, it's pretty light actually, uh, pretty flimsy, you know, um, it also came with the, all the bolts and stuff like that, and washer, bolts and washer, and let me see if it has a label, no actually it doesn't have a label, that's pretty interesting, so, I guess on the pa on the passenger side, it doesn't have a label on this side. Um, let me see the driver's side. So this should be on the driver's side. Huh? Interesting. It doesn't have a it doesn't have a label too. So that's kind of weird. But anyway, um, on the website that I I bought it from, the top one, um, it shows that it has a label on the on the what you call it, the wing on the side. It should say top one on the side, but I don't know why this one doesn't say it. So, I don't know if it's genetic or a copy version of it that made in China or anything like that. Uh, it doesn't have any label on it. And I, um, the reason why I didn't want to open the bubble wrap is because I don't plan to install it anytime soon. Maybe in like a week or two, so I don't want to really open it right now. But just by the... A panty physical. Oh, okay. Never mind. So, as you could see right here, it say top one. Oh, it's not really clear. But it say top one motorsport or motor top one motor. So, I got this is for my AP2 Honda S2000 AP2. Um, so I think it should fit though. I don't know yet. Um, but I'll probably put this on in like a a week or two. So like I say, the front diffuser is really light. As you can see, lightly shake it. It's kind of flexible and very, uh, I don't know what you call it. Just pretty light. But when it comes to uh, the rear diffuser, this thing is heavy. Um, yeah, this thing is pretty heavy. Oh, man. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. And then uh, it has these uh, sharp fins, like one, two, two fins coming out of it. Um, yeah, overall, um, I would say it's probably like 15 pounds, 15, 20 pounds itself. So, so overall, I'm pretty happy with the 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 look of it overall. It just came out of it, um, and. It really came with all the parts and stuff like that. Um, yeah, like I say, I'll try to open this maybe a week or so and then maybe do another review of uh, the actual look of it. But so far, so good. And I think the price was pretty good. The front, um, so like I mentioned, I got this for three, excuse me, 360 bucks for the front lip um, spreader. I got it for, um, I think it was like 160 bucks on the website. You could check it out. But the point is that for whoever that, whoever, anyone that who wants to order directly from the website, be prepared to wait for a long, long time. When I first ordered it, um, it was kind of funny. The website, they didn't really send you a notice or anything like that. It's go through by PayPal. And then PayPal send you a receipt, but it doesn't really tell you anything. So... Because you know how sometimes when you order stuff online, um, after you order it, they'll send you a receipt and at the same time the website will send you a notice saying, you know, like thank you and so and so and give you a tracking number and give all these update information. But for this website, uh, yeah, the transaction is actually going through by, um, by PayPal. So the PayPal will send you a receipt on your credit card transaction, wherever the way how you pay uh, with. And then the top one website they will not contact you at all um so 
Hey, what's up? So it took me about like a, a day or two. I started kind of getting curious about why I didn't, I wasn't getting any inf information about it. You know, if they even got my, if they even got the payment or anything like that. So I emailed the contact them from their website, you know. I tried calling them, nobody ever picked up the phone. But so I tried email them and I, I was lucky enough one of the gentlemen, uh, his name is Jay, he's a very cool guy. So I bought the lip first uh, for 160 bucks and then I kind of asked about, hey, you know, how's the status of my water? And the guy was nice enough saying that, oh, these things usually take about two, three weeks. So I waited for a month and haven't got any response. I emailed the guy again. He was like, oh yeah, they're kind of busy and working on this and that. And then I kind of asked about the weird diffuser thing and that's when he gave me a 20% a off saying that if you want it, you know, they could ship both at the same time with the free shipping. So the website shows that, you know, it's 450 bucks, but he was able to give it to me for 360, so which is really nice and it's a great deal. So I bought it. <laughs> Um, not knowing that I'm going to be wait for another, like another month or so. So, based on what he told me is that the the lip it should be ready. So if he order like some other stuff, they'll ship it at the same time. But he didn't ship it, which but he was nice enough to like we were going back and forth, and I kind of asked him like, oh, how's the product coming? He was like, oh, working on this. So this back and forth email. It drags on. It took about, I don't know, two, three weeks. Basically, almost into a month. And the guy was nice enough to send it. Um, interesting is that <laughs> I checked the, the whatchamacallit, the address on these. It's actually from Modesto. And I live in Fremont, California. So Modesto, Sacramento, it's in the Bay Area. About two, three hour drive. Actually, Modesto is about what hour drive, hour and a half. So which is not too far away. I'm actually surprised why it took so long for him to even ship it out Wendy I mean if I knew I probably could have just drive by you know pick it up so instead of going back and forth the email for like a week or two yeah I thought at first I thought it was coming down from LA or anything like that but the shipping was fast it only took about two days he sent me the tracking number and then like two days after which is today I received it so overall I'm pretty happy with this um, so that's something that I'll definitely be doing on my S2000, which is the front lip and then the wheel diffuser. Um, after I install it, I'll show you guys. I hope it's not too low after I install it into my car because my car is kind of low a little bit. So I really don't want this thing to scrape on the floor. Or, well, for sure it's going to scrape, but I really don't want having any uh, barrier or obstacle going over a bump or like a, into a a plaza or off like a ramp or something like that but I think the back should be fine but I'm worried about the front that's the only thing I worry about um, another thing that they also have is the um, their website they also sells um, these uh, store the side um, fence I don't know what they call it uh, I can't remember the side um, fuser or something like that which I didn't get it um, it was like almost 200 bucks or 100 which I really don't, it's not really worth it though. But yeah, um, another reason why I pick a top one uh, with diffuser is that, as you can see, well, you probably can't see it right now, but if you look online, the top top one um, with diffuser is that it's not really too bulky. I mean, based on looking at it right now, it's pretty big, but on the webs, on the picture, uh, compared to all the other diffuser out there, the side, the flare, it doesn't come out really big. It's just like small. The this end, the this the end of it, it doesn't come out really wide, like outside of your rear bumper. It actually just go around your um, exhaust, and which I really like. That I didn't want something like bulky that pop out from the rear. <laughs> um, looks kind of weird. And I know a lot of people bought like carbon fiber and stuff like that. Those weird ones, which I found like doesn't really match with my. The, the color of my car. I mean, I have uh, my my car is black, so this match with it. But if I have like a weird like carbon fiber on the back, it'll be like regular paint with carbon fiber on the tail or something like that. So it's kind of weird. Um, so for the 
Let's see for the front lip. Um, I never I never tried installing this before, but I felt like so it, they have like pre drill hole that I made for you. So I don't think I have problem installing this, but for the rear diffuser, it's probably gonna take me some time. I might have to look at it, see how I'm buying, how am I going to install this? Um, Cause the overall plan when I first emailed the the seller, I told him that hey, just want to get some more idea about if I need to drill or anything like that. Cause I really don't want to drill anything on my rear bumper. And the guy assured me that it's just a bolt on and that. Um, you only have to drill like two holes on each side, which I kind of am not sure about that because based on the 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 two that they gave me, all these bolts and stuff, it seems kind of a lot. But I hope it's two that I don't have to bolt on a lot. If I do have to drill a lot, then I might have to do modify on this rear diffuser and see if I could make a hinge or something like to hook up to the rear um, suffering or something like that. I really don't want to draw any hole on the rear bumper because my bumper is pretty good. The rear bumper, the front bumper, um, I done so I kind of done some stuff on it, so I really kind of not really care a lot because I knew that down the road I might have to get a new new front bumper. <laughs> so overall, the rear bumper is good. The the paint is good. The front is kind of like uh, sketchy, so I might have to replace the front bumper later on. But um, and recently I kind of painted the front bumper so that's why I know the bottom a lot I know the hole and where I could install the lip but when it comes to rear diffuser I haven't exactly looked at it um, the last time I looked at the rear bumper is when I installed my um, exhaust uh, full cap back exhaust um, but yeah so overall that's that's just the update on the the rear diffuser and then the lip for top one so for those of you that who want to get it um, be ready to wait for <laughs> at least two months yes if you get lucky I don't know maybe they this time they made it a lot maybe when I order it they ran out of stock or something and they had to um, you know start making it but now I don't know but the point is that I waited for a while um, I'm really happy with it and uh, I'm really glad that I got this Oh well. So anyway, thanks for watching and then I'll try to post more video on the install. I'll definitely do a video on the install and how I install it. But I also um, try to keep update on my S2000. This, um, Cause currently I'm in the stage of my going to my final right now for my school. So after that's over, I'm definitely going to dedicate my time. Maybe it won't be a week, maybe in like a day or two where I kind of do like maintenance on my S2000. Um, things that I'll be doing is uh, obviously the motor engine uh, oil change, uh, transmission fluid change, the wear diffuser, um, wear differential, excuse me, wear differential um, change. At the same time, I haven't finished um, what which my car. Um, I probably clean up the car too. Definitely, I need to wash the car and then change all the fluid. Basically, change all the fluid, and then I need to spray down. What's that thing called? I forgot the name of it. Um, I spray down the wheel well, wheel well ready for the driver side. I need to do all four side. Um, man, I can't, I can't, I can't think of it right now. But anyway, there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming. So. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated. Hope you guys like it. Bye.